Oh, careful. Oh my god. Are you okay? Oh my god! What the oh. hell, Rush? Oh my, oh my god, get him! Get him, baby! Get him! What the hell? Oh my god! We're not letting you go. Come on. Go back. Go back. Get him! Air guns, thank you so much for sending us this. We've got the FX Pantera compact. That's massive. Look at the size of that tail right there. Oh, look at the thick one. Nice work, Roddy. Nice work, Roddy. It's crazy. And some people want these things here. Little do they know the damage they can do to wildlife and territory. Imagine you just come out of your house, Manny, just walk your dog, and then all of a sudden there's just a big old iguana looking right at you. That thing's huge, dude. That's a four foot lizard all day. Going right for the cars. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. He's got flowers on his face. For all those that don't know, Florida is full of fruiting trees. And right now in the summertime, a lot of things are in bloom. And you know, that's good news for people that have fruit trees on their properties, right, Manny? It really is. But I mean, hey, we got these invasive animals, you got fruits. Guess what's gonna be in your backyard? Big, giant, green, invasive iguanas. Since we just re-signed the contract, we have a total of five visits. And today's gonna be our first visit. So, you know, I'm not expecting too much, but like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get out there. And uh, today we are at a job. You guys probably seen us back here. And whenever I come out here, I usually call for extra help. And today is no different. Hey, how's it going, Robin? Oh, it's so good to see you, Raj. Boy. <laughs> he's pretty much on board and he yeah, really knows what to do. My master is here. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, man, are you ready, boy? Yes, you are. I know. Yes, I know. Whoa, whoa, oh my whoa. God, look at him. What? Do you see? You <laughs> are the master. He's submitting to you. Hey, look at buddy. that. <laughs> He's just trying to. You know how, like, best friends, when you first see each other after a while, you like give each other high fives and stuff? Look, 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 look at him. That's how that. Whoa. Yeah, he, he does very rarely do that. Do is, uh, obviously, we're going to check out this perimeter out here. There's iguanas all over in this uh, community. And, like I said, um, me, Robin, and Max. Here to do some iguana <laughs> removal, so without any further ado, Robin, let's go see. I'm Them excited. The hey, Max, you ready? And Max is even more excited. So, okay. if we don't see him now, we'll definitely have to look for him. Let me take this. Take a gander. He is really cute. Yeah. Every day in my yard, Max will get one, two, at least every day. And this environment is perfect for them to breed and multiply up, uh, what is it, 60, 70 eggs? Yeah, all the time, he's just grabbing them, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. He'll sit there and he'll just wait, and then when they come in the yard, bam, he makes it. But for the most part, there's a bunch of fruit trees out here, and ornamental trees like cactuses and stuff, that produce flowers. I noticed the, is this the Aki tree that's blooming here? Is that what that is? This is in fact an Aki tree right here. I noticed that, it was blooming. And even, so even this little bit of brown you think is normal, that's an iguana who has urinated or defecated on the branch. It, it can kill a whole tree. Here, and she's yeah. absolutely right. And they'll, they'll, they'll take over coconut trees too. They will coconut. Over the water of this one. He's right here, right in front. Oh, from. there's three. There's three? Yeah. Bam! Oh! Let go! Come on. Come oh! Let's oh. go and Max and get one. We got another it's one okay. coming. He's, he's out. He's out. Come on. Frank! Frank! There. He's there. I know he's hanging on. Oh, yeah. Oh. Get him, Max! Beautiful! Frank! Come on! Bring, good oh boy. Bring. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> he knows I'm gonna take his phone. Max with the swift recovery. 
Nicely done, Max. He's what five pounds? Five, yeah. Like looks like he could be in the range of five to six pounds. It's a, it's a big lizard. And I hear they live like twenty-five years or something. Seriously. Yeah. Look at his jaw. They can. They can. Wow. This one has been eating a lot of fruit. Right. Fruit, flowers, leaves, butterflies, trees, and defecating and spreading salmonella to your pets. How that affects your life and then you tell me you want to keep all the iguanas and you don't like to see them humanely disposed of florida has put a mandate out there of the removal of invasive green iguanas and there's also a reason why they're no longer in pet stores guys is because these things like robin is saying once out into the natural ecosystem they can cause a, a multitude of different problems especially if you're a homeowner and you have fruit trees on your yard I mean, and, you know take away from the native wildlife Birds supposed to be in here. Um, butterflies supposed to be here. Flowers are supposed to be here. They do happen, guys, but it's an opportunity for an iguana to get an easy meal. Real thing, guys. It's a serious, real thing. That is an absolute nice little dragon that we just got out of that coconut tree. Right Didn't even see them. The They're right on top of the coconut tree. Let them let them settle down for a little bit. There's a lot of muck. I see some fish right there that are getting interested. Oh, wow. Look at that big peacock. Oh, look at that. Look at that one. Right there. I think that's a peacock bass. Oh, you know it's crazy, right? Oh, he's gorgeous. Wow. <gasps> You're right. That's a peacock. Whoa! Look at his tail. He's got an eye on it and stripes. These guys and these fish, you know, are getting hungry as well. And some of the iguanas that unfortunately go in the water that we can't recover, guess what? I mean, it makes a good meal for fish, turtles, and native wildlife out here. That iguana is in here somewhere. He's probably barreled in there. We'll let this mud settle, and then we'll see if we can get him. You ready, Max? Oh, wow. Right there. Yeah, fine. Right there. Frank, Frank, come on. Frank, good boy. There you go. Team beta bites. <laughs> so is Robin. But, you know, it's funny, I guess, to say little stuff like that. Great job, Max. Uh -huh. You saw that? He got it that time, right? Yeah, that time he got it. Yeah, they don't move. He, he doesn't It's like, so that one, that's a good little what, female, you think? Very interesting leopard pattern. See that? There's a fat yeah. little bugger. Yeah, no. You see how you see how plump they are out here, right? They're eating good. I think they could be eating these oh, ackies. Oh, look, and leopards. Leopards, yeah. Right, like your shoes. A leopard. <laughs> Guys, iguanas are just like cheetahs and leopards. They use similar patterns to camouflage, just like those big cats in the forest and jungles. And just like those big cats as well, they're super silent when they're in camouflage mode. Great job, Max. High five, buddy. Shake a paw, come on. <laughs> Come on, check him out. He's like, I, I okay. got more iguanas, okay. more iguanas. <laughs> hey, Max. Max, sit. He is so far. He's, 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 he's pacing like, right I'm now. He's like, I'm working. He's like, pellet. Guys, oh my, oh, there's another one. There's another one in there, in the coconut tree. Oh, wait. Hit him right there. He might stick with you. The smaller the oh shoot! Whoa! Get him back! Get him, boy! Bring, bring! I was one. Ah, yeah, is it helping? So the metal's help. The metal's helping uh, quite a bit. Nice, nice. Well, the trees are looking a lot better, I'd say. Yeah. 
Yeah. A little deep. Oh. It's okay, that's kind of my fault too. Not, not all of them are landing like we are used to land out. I need to take a little bit more time. It's okay, it's okay. Get him, Max! Oh, he's swimming. Max, go. Oh. No, he swam off. Really? Yeah, this tree right here, I'm seeing a lot of, of the leaves eating. They're living in Robin. A little wild. I'm gonna put him where we can find him. Get it, Max. Go. Oh, shoot, Whoa. <laughs> I think it's not really good. So I think I might have I might have turned that iguana into turtle food. He's gone. It's crazy. Look at the size of some of these avocados that are falling out here. Four avocados are huge. Big avocado. Literally. <laughs> I mean, not, not, and they're usually like. This is organic right here, right? That's no, nice. I don't think it's ripe. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, this this has got to be like 150 maybe years old, like the diameter. Oh. You see him, sir? His head's right there looking at us. Matt, look, buddy. Look. I'm going to shoot him right now. He's out there. He's out. Fine. Oh, he's right this way. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I think, I think he just twisted right there. Back here, you guys see uh, a lot of protection offered for the trees. Keep you going as off of it. This is an avocado tree right here. You can see massive fruits just hanging down. You can see how the tree is, is going a little bit sideways. We don't know if that's from hurricane winds or potentially a lot of iguanas were in here at some point weighing the tree down and over a couple weeks, months, kind of, you know, kind of made it grow. I think you're obscure. right because they like to hang out in these coconuts and then all the, the droppings of defecation and everything is going to drop and then kill the tree. So the tree's going to grow that way versus... So 
I'll have to try shooting them from here. Look at that thing. Going right over his head. Dude. It's okay, we'll see where that guy goes. Oh. That's my fault, man. This, uh. No, that was a far shot. Yeah, I should have got a little closer on him. Hi, Ross, what the heck? I'm telling you, they're jumping out of the tree. You don't need to get. What? They're going bananas right now. They're just hiding. They see flying and they're like, no. Come That's here, Max. The one I saw him. Right here, an orange one, right there. Oh, dude, one orange and one big green. Yeah, two? Yeah. Guys, we have a giant iguana in this Aki tree right here. If you look on the floor, they've just been munching these Akis. Like, like they're grapes. Let's see if we can get this giant. That iguana is, uh, <laughs> it's toasted, you know? Get him, he's coming, get him! Over there! Wait. Oh, yeah, baby. Whoa, where'd he go? I think Christmas tree. He's in the tree? Yeah. There he is. Here he comes, Max! I mean, shoot, we wanted to get him. There was having a, there, him and Max were having a little bustling thing, but the iguana is dead. He did go in the water. Fortunately, you know, he was able to outmuscle us and uh, escape. But uh, that's, a good one. that's okay, guys. There's we got this yeah, one right here, which is really one. nice. Yeah. Really? I think oh, so. Look at all the bubbles. Yeah. Hey, right, it is what it is. We tried getting them. The iguanas are very strong out here. Oh, careful. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm good. I got... Whoa. Are you alright? Yeah, no. That was caused somebody going. What? Oh. Let me help you out. Oh, um... <laughs> Look, Mac, Mac. Even... Look, he's going in there too. Get out of the hole. <laughs> <laughs> alright, awesome. Damn it! Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We're just here trying to get these guys out of these trees. Um, they're right next to the water. These are big animals. And um, even though we're hitting them with great shots, they're just running it off and the water is two feet away. Oh, oh wow. See, see, they're, they're just jumping in, Rob. They're just diving in. Oh, night, night. <laughs> there it is. Nice. 
that's wild. You can see the, the humane shot right there and it's the lizards still have life. Go get him, boy. Go get him. He's doing great though. Iguana hunters got to do what an iguana hunter's got to do. Definitely makes me believe that iguanas are getting stronger for breeding season right now. I agree. I mean, that I've, I've never seen them like so intuitive to not only jump, mm -hmm. in, uh, cause they're like, all right, he's gonna, he can nail me, but I'm gonna, if I, if I go in the water, I have a better chance, right? And then they just dive and. These iguanas are adapted so well that they're right next to the water. Wow. And even though we're hitting them with nice critical shots, they still have that last bit of juice left to dive in and escape. You guys seen that epic battle with Max and that giant alpha? It, it, it had to have been like 13, 14 pounds. I'm telling you. And I, yeah. I know you were trying to grab it. I was trying to grab it, but. No, you were right. because I didn't I, want to I step in because. Step on, like his tail was as big as this iguana here. And I was trying to step. Like his tail was that thick and I was trying to step on it. But you know. He's gonna come back and, and probably bite me in the ankle. And you just, you know, we want to avoid. So you're right, right? Yeah, yeah. And okay. it, 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 I mean, it was, it was, it was a duel between two beasts. You know, we had Max, <laughs> and we had a giant iguana. So it's like I didn't want to get in between that. Next thing, I get bit mm -hmm. accidentally, or mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff happened. Um, but obviously, that iguana had that much, that little juice back. Was able to scratch Max and, and escape into the depths. We did give him a follow-up shot and then he did go down. Some of the iguanas that we aren't able to get, the ones that get stuck in trees, the ones that get stuck on roofs, the ones that go in the water. Um, it's not really a bad thing. Actually, encourage the native wildlife to have a taste for iguana. That's a good point. You know, those, point. those iguanas on the roofs that are in trees, they're not there forever. They're not there for long. Raccoons, possums will go up there. The ones that go in the water, we have catfish, we have snakefish, and we have giant turtles and snapping turtles too. That will that will hone in on that fresh we're gonna get bounty for them we still have them documented they're they're done we didn't lose any guys yeah. we we're able to get these ones recovered wow this this look at this how old he's probably Whoa. like i mean this, look at this zoo whoa mm -hmm. it's orange 
-hmm. He's probably just coming up in the iguana world. Right, right, right. Trying to be and alpha. Then, and then I noticed, so these, like I, I, I saw in one of your videos, somebody pulled one of these pores out, and this is how they like mark their territory. Yeah, it's like, it's like kind of stinky, if you kind of oh, smell. Okay, it that. could be stinky. <laughs> <laughs> it, I don't know how to explain it. It kind of smells. It smells like a gland, yeah. It's just kind of like a little bit funky, you know, so. Iguana goes up a tree that another one has marked his pheromones on. I mean, he'll be home in a matter of no time. It's going to be some problem. The locals out here, um, even though we get them or not get them, some of the stuff is out of our power. Remember, these are wild animals. They're pretty strong and they're large. The trees that we're, we're getting them off, the fruit trees are right next to the water within two, three feet. So instinctively the iguana jumps right up in there once he flops he can swarm away and in the depths he is guys it just is what it is uh shout out to max and robin for coming out here giving it a great effort he was super excited he looks pretty tired right now and he gave it his all guys things are happening in microseconds milliseconds and max was just trying to react as best as he can so i want to give a special thanks to max and So she's seeing them all over the supermarkets. She's seeing them by um, daycares. Mm -hmm. She's seeing them mess up people's cars. Mm -hmm. um, very, some wild stuff out yeah, here. Yeah, very destructive. And, and like you said, the population is growing because of our climate. About and, stuff warming up and yeah. stuff, you know. And this is where they're thriving. And they have no, look, he's still moving. They, they, they have no predators, There's, except for us. And so, they, and they eat natural habitat in our community and that's what I'm about it's, it's not about exterminating and killing or what it, this, this is about things that get introduced into our environment that are not native not only impacting the trees and like people's property but also the native wildlife their territories these are where birds and, and other butterflies and bees and mm -hmm. flowers and mm -hmm. not even just one bird or one species of birds multiple species of birds are supposed to be roosting in these trees and also eating insects and you know living naturally in the environment but these iguanas take over and birds don't want to be in trees when you have a big 13 pound iguana sitting in there thinking no. he's an alligator it's just not going to happen guys and 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 all the all the people Whoa. and the tree huggers that they, they say oh they're so beautiful and don't kill them and you know what we will be more than happy to mail them to you if you live outside the state of florida because you're not allowed to export it within the state of florida according to the florida game and wildlife and so they are required to be killed you can't keep right. them as a pet it's not allowed right. out of our power right now we have to you know we're on the removal and the harvesting aspect of this mm -hmm. and these are not going to go to waste you guys know they're eating ackies they're eating mangoes they're eating avocados flowers this is good meat this is some of the best uh, protein you can probably consume clean lean Full of vitamins and nutrients absolutely yeah. reading season starting up guys and we're going to be back here on the force so if you want to see more uh like comment and subscribe let us know your favorite part in the comments down below robin we gotta head out of here Excellent. oh thank you right. thank Give you so you much hug. oh i know right. my bloody hand but, maxi um, boy <laughs> where the heck is he at max what are you doing all right there's the mvp right there guys come here come here what what okay come here max sit Thank you, Good job, Max. Thank, you. thank you, buddy. Pa. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Thank you so much for your help. All right. All right. We gotta roll.